Why basketball? I don't know. I guess everyone is born with a purpose. I kind of just fell in love with it. My favorite thing about basketball is that it like just clears my mind. I really don't be thinking about anything. It just feels good. I don't know how to explain it. It's hard. Kids my age do drugs, gang bang. Like some kids end up dead my age. If it weren't for basketball, I don't know where I would be. When I was in fourth grade, I thought I was gonna do ballet for the rest of my life. And that's something I really got into. I think it was ballet I really like allowed me to jump higher. When I bring the ball to the court, all I see is the guy I got to beat in the basket. I don't think you can keep up with me. God say tomorrow's not promise. You got to work for it and keep grinding and grinding and grinding because nothing's ever given to you. Daddy, your ride's here. Thank you. We out. Yes, we are. It is now time for the morning announcements on the last morning announcements of the school year. Please stop by and pick up your prom pictures from Ms. Sherlock Jones today. Prom DVDs are available for $5 in the radio room. Me, so they, they Hi, girl. <laughs> for the final time, thank you for listening and have a great day. Hola. All right, kiddos, we've got some work to do before lunch. Put them up, you know the drill. We need to review for your final, which is tomorrow. Right? We know already that the question is, should college athletes be paid? So I want you to go into your packet and find source A. Who's the author? Look at it. Mark Edelman. Yes, it says the case for paying college athletes. All right, hit it, Darius, nice and loud, bud. The historic justification for not paying players <clears throat> is that they are amateur student athletes and the value of their scholarships often worth in excess of 100000 is payment enough. But a growing number of sport experts are beginning to argue for giving athletes a fair share of the take. The numbers are too large to ignore. College athletes are mass audience performers and need to be rewarded as such. Which we talked about yesterday, right? All right, last paragraph. Not only are the NCAA rules that prevent colleges from paying student athletes immoral, but they are also likely illegal. Any agreement among NCAA members to prohibit the pay of student athletes represents a form of wage fixing that likely violates antitrust laws. Hey, cutie baby. I have your um, study guide for the final, Spanish final. Vamos a repasar para el examen final. How do you spell fiend? Yeah, I have three tests on Thursday. The final, I have an English, and a, and a math. Scotty. How do you say, um, like, basketball hoop? No sé la palabra. Um, yo compré una balón y una basketball hoop en la, en la, um, tierra 
de deportes. Ok, muy bien. So, solo pones a uh, balón. Está bien. What up, Walt? Auntie in there? Oh, you putting on moves, what? Yeah, yeah, always, always. <laughs> What's going on? You ain't got no choice. Got no she choice. up in here? Hey, Auntie! How you doing, man? How you doing? Hey, my big baby. How y'all doing? We're fine, we're fine. How many of you here know Romeo? Okay, well, I'm just gonna step out of the way and let him talk to you then. Okay. How y'all doing? Good. <laughs> Any of you guys play basketball? Nope. Uh, I, I do. do. I do. I do. Maybe sometime, uh, Coach Shannon Ranger, like, I can play basketball with you guys sometime if you guys want. Okay. Yeah. 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 Okay. Okay. I love you, Romeo. <laughs> <laughs> You guys, uh, any questions you guys want to ask me? Yeah. I don't know yet. He might go to UK. Oh. <laughs> oh. It has grown. It has grown. I don't come here that much. Yeah, yeah, because you don't got used to it yeah. up there. Used to be away from home. You, you almost 100 miles away from here. Yeah, but was... IMG, IMG done set you up for college. Yeah, that, that's one thing I, I, I'm glad I went there because it's just like college. Yeah. Away from home. I'm ready. I'm glad I got that out of me first. I thought we were used, used to jump out the chair when I used to get ready to comb your hair. No, I don't blame myself because I'm trying to not jump out now. <laughs> Let's see how I look. Ooh, this is my hair. Like a whole new person. I'm a beast at Scrabble, bro. I started playing Brian at first, and he put that, and he put, then I made Vito out of that, and made Nookie. Then I made Hat out of that, and I made Nookie. It's like a sexual term for like, <sighs> and then of course, yeah. Hey, Dad. <laughs> Do you know where you're leaning to? College? Yeah. I really don't know. I ain't even cut my list. I need to, though. So how AA you went? Hey, you still going good. Man, we, used to, we got a long time to the end. So what y'all gonna be playing all summer? Yes, sir. Last year, that go around. That's all right, that's all right. Cause mm -hmm. the next year ain't no more AAU. Mm -hmm. Just high school and that's that. High school and college. Get that medal. Ooh. You need more water? I think so. All right, here we go. One, two, and three. Oh. Good. Randall. Randall put him as a basketball player. Now, <laughs> Romeo, Randall player. has told me several times that he wants to play you one on one. Uh -oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I don't come home a lot. This is actually my first break to do anything in months. I grew up raised by the grandmother and grandfather. My mom was always working. What? It's my first time in the house. That's mine. You never showed me in your house, Grandma. You know it's my first time in it. Yeah, i Come on. You can't go in my room. Hey. OK. Yeah, I need this. <laughs> I need my room. Yeah, I ain't got anything. Oh. Oh, you got a bathroom? OK, OK. Let me test it out. Okay. <laughs> okay. Got a little shower. Can I fit in the shower? Yeah. Yeah, hey, I can fit in the shower. Give me, please. Grandma, I couldn't fit in. I can't even fit in my shower at home. Okay. Yeah, school. <laughs> my shower at school is bigger than the whole house. I got a walk-in shower. I got a handicap one. Oh, you got a handicap shower? You probably need the handicap shower. What you trying to say, Grandma? Dang, Grandma, you gonna see me over here a lot. 
Ooh, got some snacks. I ain't been home. Come on, what are you gonna cook? Please tell me you're cooking. You gonna be in the weekend? Yes, ma'am. Yeah, please. I'll cook you some collard greens. <laughs> Candy yam, black eyed peas, cornbread. Ooh. That's it. It's the best cook ever. Oh my gosh. I ain't the best cook ever. Now don't come up with that now. How you doing? I'm good. I'm good. Tell everybody to send us up. Thank you, thank you. Keep doing it, man. Always. Always. All Tell everybody to send us up. All right, man. We're proud of you, man. Thank you. My first cousin lived right here. We used to stay going to each other's house. And his grandparents actually lived right there, in this house right here. Uh. I ain't been over here in a minute. Think you gonna remember me, Grandma? I'm, I can see the top of his building. Mr. Davis, you don't remember me, do you? <laughs> what is your name? Emmett. Yeah, yeah, now I remember. <laughs> How you doing? He, he, he wants you, want you to be on film. I'll tell you how you know. That's good, that's good. I ain't seen you in a long time, man. Well, I was yeah. gonna say, Gummy, you wanna take our picture? You know I don't wanna take no picture. Remember, just press that circle button right there, the white one, okay? Mm -hmm. You got it? Okay. You got it? Yeah, I got it. All right, now. If I can get your big head in there. I just wanted to see you, man. How you been? Well, I'm doing a fairly well. They're they getting one day old. Who? They're they one day older. Hey, that's a blessing, ain't it? How old you is now, Mr. Davis? How old are you? I'm 93. 93? You still get around good. Ain't no use that old, Mr. <laughs> Davis. You want us to come? You want us to come? Yeah, hold on. He's next. He's coming from across the street. He's going to have that way. That bow. Boom! Hey, you want to go to the house? Yeah, I'm going to go yeah, yeah, you yeah. play basketball? Yes, sir, I play basketball now. You call me. <laughs> <laughs> gotta use my height. Uh, I gotta use my height. Make your money, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. Thank make you. Once I make it, this woman is not gonna be here. I'm gonna be right there now. I I'm told you right I'm moving there. you out of there, Grandma. I'm gonna be right, I'm gonna be right there. All right. Just come on, bro. Give me that. That's a bucket. Oh, we lost. Oh, of course. This is the first time a face scan actually worked and it looked like me. I'm just trying to get as much <laughs> clothes as I can get right now. I gotta keep playing just to get other stuff. Does a dude wanna play? I don't know who that is. He just messaged me. He says, are you Romeo Linford? Mm, different letters from different colleges. So it's just things like this. They really don't write like letters, letters like you would think. They mainly just call my dad. Then I get on the phone with him sometimes. There's one from Indiana, West Virginia, Xavier. Kansas, Kansas again, Purdue, Purdue, Kansas, Kansas, Kansas. This is a book a kid from like fourth grade made about me. He used to come to me before like every game and ask me questions. But I didn't know like what it was for, but it was for this book. Romeo, favorite place to be is in the gym. He always liked to play basketball and he liked to play football too. Romeo's favorite player is LeBron James. Romeo and his teammate winning state is a big meaning to the boys. They have been working good all year and they did it. He wrote the book about me and gave it to me. It was cool, I mean, I remember when I had to write a book, I wasn't thinking about writing it about no high school player. And I guess for him to be thinking about me and writing it, I mean, that means a lot.
Auge. Oh! I don't miss many, man. I spent most of my life in the Bronx, in New York, with my family, my mom, and my brothers. The move from New York to New Jersey, I think it was the best possible move I ever could have made. I grew up in New York, and it was not a situation that me and my brothers exactly liked being in. You want some of this? You look like you're kind of hungry. We've been living in this house since I was in seventh grade now. Yeah, boy. Where you hiding from? I see you. Boy, you ain't slick. Ah! Oh! Y'all got a terrible shot. Oh, he's bugging. Get him. Come on, get him. Oh, yeah, we're in here. Where you going? Come on, Bryson. I think when I first tried to play basketball, it was awkward. I was really young, but I was tall, I was long. I think after a while, it became more natural. And um, I kind of figured that I can put myself and my family and the people around me in a better situation. Summertime, it used to be just having fun, hanging out with my friends and stuff like that. But now that basketball's getting more serious, it's just constant traveling. This AE season has a big impact. Competing against the high, highest level of guys in my grade and stuff, I, I like to do that. And I feel good. I feel like I can compete with anybody. I don't, I'm not backing down for no, from no challenge. When I was younger, like, I always like uh, was thinking when I get like when I made the NBA and buy a house, I was going to make a slide to go down to the basement. And so probably if I ever make it, then that's probably one of the things I'm going to do, make a slide even if I'm too old for it. Can we do two in there? No. No. All right, Jay's bags. You can do two in there. You can do two in there. We got to set up those beds down there. I'm not sleeping down here. I'm going to throw them on the floor right here. You're bugging. You're bugging. He's bugging. Let's get it. I got a for you. Good shot, boy. All right, I'm talking about it. I don't care. All right, though. But for real, guys, we don't even have time like that. It's 335. Yeah, we still have to go to the store. And get water. Mm. PD light. light. Yes. PD light. Yes. You gotta go to the store and get water. It's <laughs> <laughs> true. Yeah, yeah, hey, Scotty, for real though, no, I came yeah. in the room this morning. We'll this is how you were sleeping. <laughs> <laughs> I was looking, I said, I've never seen anyone sleep like that. <laughs> I'm traveling with Team Real National. I've been with them for about three years now. Traveling this place, this place, this place. I'm surrounded by people that I care about when I love. And I'm playing with these people 24-7. It's like playoffs for us. Give me the win. Hey, you know, I can already hear Mike yelling. <laughs> he loves taking you out the game when you mess up. <laughs> he loves taking you out the game. He loves it. <laughs> In the one hand, you got to That's my favorite. <laughs> The 
Christmas this weekend. It's kind of a place where college coaches get to see you play. We can play against some new people, some new faces, the best team in the country. The recruiting process is fun, but right now we're worried about the, uh, the season and winning. Play One Nation. What was One Nation? You know what? Uh, that's that's actually close. I know what, what. You know what their record was last weekend? They might have been the team that was below us. Let's hope. Right? No, actually, coach, they might have gone two and two. your game. I mean, do you think it's more important to focus on the strengths that you have currently or to focus more on the areas that probably need a little bit of improvement? I focus more on the weakness. I'm trying to work on my ball handles, my germans, my shot. I'm trying to hear it, get everything down pat. I'm working on it all. I'm in the gym almost every day. And um, I guess as far as your schools are concerned, are you, are you looking at geographically based in terms of wanting to stay close to home? Or are you open to really anywhere that, that open it takes you? right now. Tell you it's a blessing just to have. I never expect my stuff to blow up like this. Uh, Leonard Hamilton, Florida State, he was there. Are they coming at you? Oh, yes, sir. I heard somewhere that UNC has reached out at some point. Do you have any idea if they've reached out to your mom at all? Yeah, they reach out to my mom. A lot of people do reach out to my mom. All the college coaches. So winning mom over is key? Yes, it is. If you win mom, you got me. What's up, buddy? You got something to say? One thing I noticed on the court, you got to communicate a little bit more. You know what I'm saying? Communicate as you're playing. Y'all been around each other long enough now to even talk to each other. That's why we try to mix you up in the hotel room, where y'all can get to know each other on and off the court. OK? Very important. Don't take that for granted, guys. What y'all have right now, the workouts, this AAU, I was one of the top players in Atlanta. Coach came delivering mail at the gym. So who is that guy out there? That's, that's Langford. I'm going to offer him a full scholarship. I was just playing ball. I got all excited, you know, and oh man, I made it, you know. Went around the whole neighborhood, you know, just joyful. But all in all, I wasn't ready. I wasn't ready mentally, and I wasn't ready physically. My dream to go to the NBA, I couldn't even make it to college. Keep pushing, keep fulfilling your dream. And every day count. You know what I'm saying? When you look in the mirror, you know, be honest with yourself. You know, you can fool your friends, you can fool your parents, but you can't fool yourself. And you definitely can't fool God. Be thankful every day. It can all end just like that. And believe that. prospects across the country take center stage at six foot eight power forward Emmett Williams looks like he was made to play this game ranked seventh in the nation all eyes are on Williams for where he ends up playing after high school looks to be another good contest for 
from some of the best in the nation here on the high school level. That's Scotty Lewis from New Jersey, and he's currently ranked 13th in the class of 2019. Get into it, urgency. Trap, run around. Let's get the game moving up and down. All right, let's get the game moving up and down. Defense on three. Defense. A lot of Division I talent on the floor. This is what it's all about. This is Romeo Langford, a six foot four inch junior who can score from anywhere. I think he's going to be mentioned with, uh, with the all time grades. Pose I will win the sprint both ways, not just on offense, but coming back defensively. Compete, have fun, let's get after it from the start. It's all about energy. Let's go. Family on three. One, two, three. Family. The Langford spinning, turning, got contact. He put it home. The fence roll. Romeo Langford eats, sleeps, and breathes buckets. No, no, no. Yeah, bro. God damn. Here we go, here we go. Langford on the far left side. Romeo to the rim. Money. Sounded like a broken record. Romeo Langford. Romeo Langford. Yep. When you're the number three prospect in the country, that's what happens. You got Langford, Romeo. Good, stay with it, good. And Langford, don't let him get it. All day, all day, bam! Romeo, a cold-blooded assassin. And Scotty Lewis, number 23, outstanding athlete. And the shot is blocked by Scotty! Lewis has athleticism that is off the charts. Scotty Lewis looking to drive it into the post. And he finishes. Oh, Rio's no. basketball, they're pushing it up the floor. Scotty Lewis. Hey. Scotty Lewis is, in my opinion, in a class of his own. And one of my favorite players in this tournament has been Emmett Williams. Very athletic. Interesting player, but boy, he is fun to watch. Don't let up. Fast and furious action here. Oh boy, we've got something brewing. This just got really interesting. Hey, hey so they, they, they starting to fight back now. We go fast. Thank you. Are they starting to fight back? Are y'all serious? Take care of the basketball. Rotate. Run down. Dominate the glass, and there he shows you his range. Get up, Scotty! Go! What the f is he doing?
quick, you're going right back in at nine. Yeah, you are. You go. You good. You good. Seconds tick down. It looks like that's the end of the ball game, folks. What an outstanding contest! And Evan Williams puts on a show. The battle do it. This matchup proved to be everything that the hype said it would be. Great win, fellas. Great team win. Three on three. Three on three. One, two, three. Rio. Rio. Buzzer sounds. And the was... Juice All Stars. Pull the upset on one of the top teams in the Gauntlet Series 22 Vision. There are qualifying tournaments across the way, but to secure a berth, 22 Vision in a world of trouble.